Hi friends! Have you ever asked the question, is Jesus really enough? I mean, we hear that all the time, but have you ever wondered and felt, is he really enough? Today, I have my daughter, Carrie, here with me on my video blog, and Carrie had an experience where Jesus asked her, God spoke to her and asked her, am I enough for you, Carrie? And I'm going to let her tell that story. Carrie, welcome. Thank you. So, yeah, I was leading worship um, at a conference in San Diego when I felt the Lord just speak to me in my heart, Carrie, am I enough for you? And at the time, everything was just going super well in my life. I didn't have any worries or cares or anything. And it's easy then to feel it's like easy. <laughs> So I said, yes, Lord, you're enough for me. You're so enough for me. And then um, my husband and I found out we were pregnant in um, April of that year. And soon after, we lost the baby through a miscarriage. And um, again, I felt the Lord just utter in my heart, Carrie, am I still enough for you? And it was so much harder at that time. But I said, yes, Lord, you're still enough. Um, and then my husband, just a few weeks later, left for a six-month deployment. And I remember just feeling really lonely and sad. Um, and still again, I just felt the Lord whisper, Carrie, am I still enough for you? And um, it was harder and harder and harder at this point, but I just said, yes, Lord, you're enough. And then um, in October, um, we found out we were moving and we were leaving our community that we're so involved with and um, our precious friends and all of that. And once more, I just felt the Lord say, Carrie, I'm still enough for you. And it was the hardest thing ever, but I had to say, yes, Lord, you are still enough. And, um, yeah. And then, yeah, and then God spoke, it, it, those kinds of situations are so difficult to carry. I, I mean, my eyes are filling up because I'm your mom and I walked with you through those. But, but then God did something really special for you, he gave you a song in the night. You want to tell our uh, listeners about that? Yeah, so I was just having a pretty rough night. I just remember being very emotional about everything that was happening. We just went out that we were moving. Um, and so just in prayer and worship, I um, was just wrestling with these things before God. And um, I turned to Psalm 16, um, which says, Lord, you alone are my portion in my cup. You make my lot secure. The boundary lines have fallen for me in pleasant places. Surely I have a delightful inheritance. I will praise the Lord who counsels me. Even at night, my heart instructs me. I keep my eyes always on the Lord. With him at my right hand, I will not be shaken. And so, um, yeah, that night, I just felt the Lord remind me of those words he had spoken to me so many times, Carrie, am I enough for you? And he just birthed this song um, that night. And um, I just remember him giving me a, just a simple chorus and, um, and then just kind of filled in the words with some of the scripture from Psalm 16. And... I remember sharing it with our worship pastor back um, at All People's Stephen Gully, and he helped co-write the song and uh, bring it to where it is today. But and now yeah. it's on an album. <laughs> yes. So I have bragger rights because I'm her mom. <laughs> so you can actually get that album on iTunes, and the song is more is more than enough. And Carrie, just to, to finish real mm -hmm. briefly, uh, speak to the woman out there who says, you know, that's great for you, Carrie, but I don't know if Jesus is enough. What two really practical tips would you give her mm -hmm. to really help her know God if, mm -hmm. during that, those rough seasons? Mm -hmm. um, well, this is, it sounds so much easier than it is, so please hear me that I know that, I mean, just, it is not easy. It is so hard, but um, I think for me, the things that really helped me get through that season were just um, being consistent and just spending time with Jesus in the morning. Um, you know, the word says that he gets our daily bread. So going to him every morning, just, Lord, what do you have for me today? Because I just need to get through today. So asking for that daily bread. And then um, the other thing is to really um, involve yourself and invest in community. Um, without community, it's just really easy to isolate and um, just feel awful and awful and awful. So I just really encourage you to really um, open up with some deep friends and just allow them and um, to kind of meet those places with you and um, yeah, go there with you and before you leave prayer. Thanks, Carrie. What a what a joy to have my own daughter on my video blog. <laughs> and um, we want to offer a special prize. If you leave a comment on this video blog, we're going to choose one name out of a hat, or maybe two, I don't know. And we're going to give away a copy of that CD that's been released uh, called We Release by All Peoples. 
uh, worship. And we might also give a copy of the 30 Day Praise Challenge because for both Carrie and I, the praise, uh, learning to praise God through the darkest of circumstances has always been beneficial. So thanks for joining us. Don't forget to leave a comment because that's the only way you can enter into the drawing. You are, you are enough. You are, you are enough. You are more than enough for me. You